in the previous episode. I don't think this is sustainable, so I don't think I think this is some type of sustainable activism. They scream when they're getting lowered into the gas, they scream when they're in the trucks, they scream when they're in the holding pen. This is probably the worst I've felt before a speech ever. To force anything to manifest, you have to believe it's possible first. Uh, you just can never predict the outcome of these things. You, know, you never catch me making a video about criticising someone else's activism, unless that activism involves telling people that there's a moral way to consume animal products. Buy free range, high welfare meat, that crap. That there should be criticised because that gives, makes people cut, like, that you're basically telling people to exploit and kill animals in a humane way. Like, that's not vegan activism though. There's a fire inside your heart. Let it light up the world. Yeah. Well, I think like a vegan world would include animal rights, like they are human rights. If human rights are violated, then they... What do they do? They arrest people for violating human rights. Um, there's murder laws against murder, so if, I think like if they brought them in for animals as well, that would be good. I don't think it would stop uh, all at once. We still murder each other, don't we? Right. Even though there's laws. Yeah but it would just mean there would be laws to protect animal rights. I think animal, if we brought in um, proper animal rights, that would be, you know, that we'd have animal rights before we'd have a vegan world. Yeah. Just, I don't even think like, that, that, that would be more of a thing to strive for, that animals have rights. Right. What do they say? Uh, in, in, Calif in California, California there's, there's new legislation act which changes uh, the rights of the animals which are in uh, Animal agriculture and stuff like that. Welfare. Yeah, that's not rights. Yeah, it is, but that's not. No, that's not animal rights. That's animal welfare. Yeah. So that uh, doesn't change their right. Yeah, but in California development is going every year further and further. Do you think it's a good way to change no. it step by step? No, I think what it does is it promotes high welfare meat. So when you say to someone, "Look, this animal was treated nice before you ate their body," mm -hmm. they're going to be comfortable with eating them. Yeah, uh, I think it's will. a problem. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I don't think we should torture animals. I, don't, I think less torture is good. Yeah, I don't think the welfare movement is helpful, like they, as helpful as they claim it is. Yeah. But at the same time, the direction everywhere there exposes the anim, uh, whole, fa whole foods as, as they are talking about humane meat and stuff like that. that they are yeah, I don't think that's vegan activism. You don't? I, I, no, well, it's not. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's saying, look, um, Whole Foods are claiming that they got high welfare meat, but it's not high welfare meat. And it, yeah. So what is that sending the message that it should be high welfare meat? I mean, yeah, I don't are, think... But they're exposing them because they lie also about, about that. Uh, about the welfare Would you f feel comfortable if Whole Foods did have high welfare meat? No, of course I wouldn't, but it's better than just to argue on the internet to do something in the streets, you know. I don't think we should fight for high welfare meat and I think um, it's a problem. Okay, so you don't fight for happy slavery, mm -hmm. and I think certain types of activism promote happy slavery. Yeah, but some, somehow you need to pro uh, promote and uh, give greater, uh, greater rights to the animals in according to the legislation, because that's it's the not thing. giving them rights. It's giving One fundamental right, which is the right not to be treated as a product. That's yeah, all they need. Yeah, of course, but I'm talking about the law and about the state of the... It's giving them welfare guidelines. Yes, yeah, some, some of it. But it could be a way to create the rights in, which could in the future say... Evidence? Have a right to you raise. need evidence to... So, like, you need to prove that that's going to happen. Like, they've been animal welfare for a long time now. Bigger cages, get rid of the cages, uh, put the chickens in sheds instead of cages. Mm -hmm. And all it gives them is a label to say these are cage-free eggs. And then your parents go to the store and they go, hmm, I don't want the cage eggs, I want to buy the cage-free eggs, which is, you know, it's not a moral choice. Yeah, yeah it's true, but uh, so, some, uh, for example, the animal defenders here in this country, which have uh, banned the fur, fur farms, for, for example, by law last year, and this year they are aiming for banning the circus animals, are also focusing on uh, free range uh, change. Do you support free range? I support the change of the view of the consumers to animals because they start to think about their rights. So and you their support well free range? I support the initiative to bring more rights well, to the well, animals. Well, we're different people. 
I would never, yeah, I would never support free range murder because they all, all the free range. I don't support range. free range murder. I just support more rights to the animals. It's not a right. It's it's not a right. It's it's, it's higher right, welfare. Then it's right. Then then people become comfortable. If you're a vegan and you support. Uh, or you say, yeah, we should fight for free-range animals, mm -hmm. you're sending a very confusing message. You're yeah. sending the message that exploitation can be done in a humane way and that we should be comfortable and strive morally yeah. for animals to be and taken we, out of cages back, more are, than they should have rights. And we are getting back to the people who are closed, who don't see any rights for the animals at the moment and who don't even consider veganism as a way of thinking. They don't anyway. Yeah, I've I mean, turned thousands of people vegan. Yeah, I would say. And, that I, and if I if I if I was like, if I said you know if I if I fought for free range, I'd be funding their industry for them, mm -hmm. funding the chicken industry free range. You know, like I I would just wouldn't be as effective as an activist when you can turn people vegan. I don't think that yeah, it's impossible. Can, but like we talk, some people are uh, not to be uh, or not ready to be changed at the moment. You know? Yeah, I think if you, you if, if you were an animal, I wouldn't I wouldn't fight for you to be a free range animal. I would fight for you to have rights and to have a consistent vegan message. I wouldn't want you to be put in a slaughterhouse. I wouldn't want you to be viewed as a product. Right. I mean, that, yeah, the, the the values are the same. Just the road to get there is a bit catch up with the rest of the world. Yeah, we but where, if we all sang the same the tune, mark? I don't know, if what we all the sang the same mark? tune of, of um, animals aren't products, animals aren't products, exactly. mm -hmm. I mean, I think it would be less confusing. Yeah, and, yeah we, we're doing and it, I, we're I doing just, it, but some people are closed, you know. Yeah, I know, people, I, know what, I know what the welfareist movement does, and I, and I, I, I see vegans who, else, who also do animal mm. welfare as well. I personally won't, out of principle. Mm. Yeah, I won't out of principle. Um, I think it's even betrayal. I, but, uh, I, I, me too, me too. It's easy I, to I, say that something is betrayal when the animals suffer less. Well, like I have, no, I have, I have a friend who, who raised turkeys. He said, yes, good life and everything. So for they're that, butchered. Should, they don't. They, they are be butchered. butchered. Yeah. And they are butchered in a slaughterhouse. Yeah, they are. I know it's bad. Yeah. But do I want them to suffer more or not? No, we That's don't. We don't. Problem, really which I'm we don't. To uh, we end. We liberate animals with yeah. veganism. We yeah, liberate them. And if we Sometimes. if we go if we go we are standing against your industry, mm -hmm. what are they going to do? They're going to go, oh my god, we got eyes on us now. What are, they're going to tighten everything up, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're that's probably going to bring in those. They're pro probably going to bring but in. That's your assumption. We don't know what will happen. They bring in welfare guidelines. The more we push them for veganism, anyway, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Not because yeah, we yeah, told we will, them. We will, we will. Not because we told them to. Obviously, if they go, oh my god, these vegans are pushing us. Mm -hmm. They've got footage of how disgusting our farm is. Yeah, okay, and they're share, they're sharing that. And that our message, when we take that footage from the disgusting farm, is mm -hmm. go vegan. Right. It's not go free range. Or it's not get them out of those cages. It's look how disgusting this farm yeah. is, let's go vegan, right. right? And then they go, oh my God, our farm has been exposed. Mm -hmm. And then they tighten up the welfare guidelines. They decided to do that. We don't go, we don't want you to tighten up welfare guidelines. We want you to torture the animals. Of course not. They tighten up the welfare guidelines, but not because we said free range is a moral choice or sent the message that somehow free range is a moral thing to do for people. We, we, our message is always go vegan. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> but it's still the problem of developing the people who are getting more and more polarized in the society. As the vegan movement is growing, the number of people who are basically uh, against it is growing also. You know, I, and I see it. In, in the, I also know people who are like that and who feel that PETA is something like fascist, you know? That's the problem. How do I reach to these people? I play with, with a different them, form example. of vegan advocacy. If we all advocate veganism in different ways, right. okay, you don't advocate like me, he doesn't advocate like but me. The social background is completely different. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean but all I'm saying, but week. if we are all singing the same tune in different ways, we have a consistent message. It's very clear, very clear message. Yeah. If we all have a clear vegan message, and we speak it in many different ways. It's clear. That but is it's clear, a. But it's clear. Uh, but what's not clear is the, how do people uh, interpret it. You know? you know what people love? Individuals like yourself telling them that there's a moral way to consume animals because yeah, they, will never, they will Social never stop. Every day. They will never stop. Yeah. Because they will feel so comfortable knowing their animals were raised in a humane way. Mm -hmm. It just justifies their meat consumption further and reinforces their meat consumption. Mm -hmm. Because me, if I knew, back, back when I was consuming eggs, if I knew they were free range, mm -hmm. I felt like I was doing the moral thing by buying them. Yeah, I, before veganism, I would 
seven years ago. I would, I was, I would buy high welfare eggs, and I'd tell my mum, don't buy cage eggs. And this is what free range does. It's like it gets them from going to a certain point and stopping because they feel I'm relaxed now. My animals weren't tortured. They're not suffering. Um, but but what, it, what, it what, if you, what if you started to, to talk with the person and you tell him, okay, so you agreed that cages are bad and, and that free range is better. Do you still see that there's some pro problem or there's some suffering even if the free range? And he will I say always yes. Do. Yeah, he will I say yes. Do. It's and vegan, can, and vegan's can, the and end can, goal. And you can build on that. But if the person... His, That's his, not what you're saying though. You're saying you support free range. But at this stage of It's the a confusing market. message. You could say, look, if you, you could say this, you could say, look, you agree animals shouldn't suffer, yeah? So you agree they should be free range. Yeah. But, but that means that you're agreeing that animals deserve moral consideration. So if you care that they suffer, why, do, why don't you care yeah, that they're exactly, murdered? Exactly, but, yeah. you, but you can't uh, tell... Like, you can talking. still get there without get a, promoting free range. How do you get a perspective to someone, someone who is still standing on the point zero about, when thinking about animals? Do you know what? With or without you telling someone to buy free Some, range... Somebody is, can be they're, they're, like, but no Trust me, brother. With or without you telling someone to buy free range, they will buy free range anyway. You say to someone, going vegan is the moral choice because these industries are disgusting, they're probably going to go, I'm going to go buy free range. Okay, they're already going to do that. Yeah, I know that but if you tell someone to buy free range, yeah, and I, they, they have... That, let I, me finish. You tell someone to go that free range is a moral choice. So you back free range uh, farms, okay? Mm -hmm. And they had the potential to go vegan in their mind with the right advocacy. Mm -hmm. You've basically gone, no, that's okay. Just buy free range. It's a moral choice. But they were prepared to go vegan if you gave them the full story. Very clear message. But that's the problem. Sometimes you don't get to tell your story in the whole, and the person gets from few sentences the opinion. Oh, but wait! It takes one second to explain that fr uh, free range is not a Everybody moral choice. Everybody tells me that everything is easy, but that's not how the world works. I think it's confusing. I think you're confusing people. You're confusing people, and you're giving them an option that's not, not moral. And I don't I'm think it's confusing anyone. I'm just talking about people who are also vegan and doing stuff which is also vegan, but at the same time. They are not closing their eyes against millions of animals that who are uh, tortured before the slaughter every day, and I mm. think that's also important. The slaughter of the, of the animals. Yeah, before vegan are, advocacy are, helps if, that too. If they are tortured and uh, yeah, and the person if is, animals are tortured and you tell people go vegan, animals are being tortured. Yeah, right. But the person. Is then, then, not they're not, then they're not comfortable. You know, somebody went. Then they're not comfortable because if you if you're going okay. You're going, you okay, finish, if you, okay, oh, okay. Just, just one sentence would be great if I could finish. Some people don't have uh, the road on, on the curve uh, when they're changing their behavior to animals, ready to jump from point zero, I don't give a shit, to I'm going to be vegan next day. Some people do. Some, they are prepared for catergy and do, but do you it. But you give them the but clear some, message. So they know veganism is the goal. But if you go, yeah, yeah. just stop torturing animals and buy free range, there's no evidence to suggest that free-range animals aren't but, tortured but they, anyway, but... but they do, don't do it like that. They do, they do it like that, that they uh, also work for the animal rights wherever it is possible. Nah. Know? If you just tell them, look, animals are being tortured, go vegan. You know, free-range murders animals, they might be tortured less, mm -hmm. go vegan. Okay? Then they, they, they know they're going vegan. I'm curious in five years, if, where we, when are we going to speak about it, if... Uh, the success rate, which we want or both to have, if, what would be more successful? Well, I've got a pretty high success rate turning people vegan. Yeah, but at this no? po at this point, and I, this point, I just you won't catch are, me. Are, are you won't catch me promoting humane slavery. You just won't catch me promoting it. And Indirectly, yeah. people will will make will will have a thought process mm -hmm. when they see caged eggs and free range eggs. If you give them a clear message of veganism anyway, if they want to make that step, it shouldn't because, be because a vegan activist told them to or an animal rights activist told them to. They will anyway. They're already going to do it, dude. If you tell them animals are suffering and being tortured, okay, go vegan. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna go, okay, maybe free range they suffer less, but not because a vegan activist told them to buy free range. Because your that's opinion, but, but I'm not so 100% sure like you in this. Yeah, I mean, well... I just wouldn't do anything that um, jeopardizes animal rights. Me neither. But uh, and we still know that we are learning so, so much around the uh, on, on the journey, you know. Or confuses maybe, the message. Maybe, maybe. Muddies the water. It muddies the water. Because people go, okay, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, this vegan, it. this vegan goes, 
yeah. you know, maybe we should buy free range. If you're not going to go vegan, just buy free range. Then it muddies the water. They all go to the same slaughterhouse but to be butchered and stabbed. Not everything dualism, you know. You can't just say this is clear, this is muddy. It's, it's not like I think it muddies the clear. vegan message. Like it muddies the vegan message. It doesn't, it from, from breaks it. From point of view, it could be the truth. Because it's confusing. You're saying, like I'm saying, animals deserve rights and there's no moral mm -hmm. way to exploit and kill them. Right. And then there's other vegans who are saying, you know, maybe we should choose free range over the tortured we are, flesh. We are, we are still in the same you know, system. Uh, system yeah, but we, we have different just, messages. Well, yeah. by, by, it's a confusing... By 5%, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, because there's not many welfareists in the, in the animal rights movement I just, anymore. I, I just on there's only, because, there's because only a few welfareists around, mm -hmm. um, but in the forefront, uh, full-blown abolitionist ab uh, animal rights activists now. In, in the forefront of the mainstream of the animal rights movement, mm -hmm. there's only a few welfareists. Okay, and we are doing just fine promoting veganism. Earthling Ed, James Aspie, myself, um, Gary Yorofsky, mm -hmm. um, the, the page uh, best vi uh, video you ever see. Highest conversion rates out of anyone on earth. Okay, promoting a very clear animal rights message. Mm -hmm. um, so we're doing fine that way. And there's no, there's no um, confusion. But everything can be improved. I think you agree with that. Sorry? Everything can be improved. Do you agree with that statement? You think we'd improve by being welfareists? I think that it could be done by But that's just, because, a, that's just because a because speculation. Some, because, yeah, like... Uh, We've got evidence. Like your assumptions when talking about this what's going to happen in the future. But brother, this is an assumption. We've got evidence. We are the... Like, yeah. the, the people I stated to you, you have, have the you highest have, conversion rates some, of individuals yeah, on you Earth. Have, you have results. But results. No, but nobody knows... Uh, what uh, the rate would be if we were working with the crew which is not responding to vegan activism. Nobody knows. That. No, but we already know. We already know welfare has been around for 30 years. We've got, well, we've got but, welfare but activists. It, but how is it, uh, it's not, it's how is it being, it being done? Like you said, we've got animal welfare people that work with like humane yeah. meats and yeah. you know, who work with free range and but get paid like, by free range eggs to promote those, you know, like... Right. And since, uh, since five years we have it also in Czech Republic, but it's because since that we haven't got it and we still meet people in the streets. If you get, if you start to get massive results, if you start to get massive results, more than um, Gary Yorofsky with, with the wealth, promoting the welfare message and you're turning more people vegan by it and you show us evidence that promoting animal welfare um, times by 10 with I your conversion vegan word, rate, then... It's okay, but judge by results, not by but your I live theory. in this country, and I know what's the state of the society here. You know, yeah. so I all I know is it's it, it, is buying free range eggs stop me from going vegan at one stage. That's it's an anecdote. That's the question for you. It's an anecdote because I thought, wow, I, I hate cage eggs. It's disgusting. Mm. I'm going to buy free range, and I felt heaps more comfortable. Yeah, possibly, but he's, no, I did. But no, that, that's but my story. But it did step back. For me, for example, I started to acknowledge animal rights more before I had my trans 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 uh, transition in a slaughterhouse seven years ago, was thinking bo more about the uh, welfare of the animals. I was doing that. But it was the, fir it was the first step for me before I was ready for detergent. You know, that's the thing which I'm trying to prove to you, that not all people are ready to see vegans every day and change. That's the only point I'm trying to make. That's true, but these people will be ready. Dude. Whether you promote welfareism or veganism, they're not ready to change either way. Exactly. Yeah. At least with me, they get a clear message. With you, mm -hmm. you're sending a very confusing message. You think so? Yeah, it's very confusing. Well, there's a moral way to exploit animals. Mm -hmm. There's an immoral way to exploit animals. Uh, is it, is it, uh... There's a humane way to exploit animals. Right. Okay. And is it, 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 That's uh... confusing. Okay. But if, if we uh, look to the pr principle, because you're tr trying to, to make it easier than it is, uh, it's the same argument when people say uh, doing the crops is also hurting the animals because you have collateral damage in, in animals. It's the same. No, it's not. We're talking about slavery. And, we, no, we're talking about slavery. Right. Okay. And accidental harm that happens because mm -hmm. of civilization. Mm -hmm. Humans yeah. are harmed accidentally because yeah. of civilization. But when it comes to numbers, okay. uh, Sla there's a difference between slavery it, and accidental death. When it, when it would come to numbers, what would be far worse? What are you talking about? Well, numbers, numbers with numbers, what? Yeah. With what? Uh, if I have welfare when, when the animals are living, for example, in some way, and I have animal agri uh, plant, plant agri agriculture. agriculture. And if I'm going to compare, uh, is it all without any slavery? No, it's not, because also the animals which are... No one's enslaved there. for plant crops. 
They're not subject. No, no. There's a difference between humane dairy, where where cows are subjugated, enslaved, forcibly bred, sent to a slaughterhouse yeah. directly, and their bodies are eaten. Mm -hmm. Okay, and animals that are living in the wild. Okay, and they find a plant crop to live in, and then a tractor comes, and they get a chance to escape. There's accidental, indirect death. Okay, it's a completely different um, context scenario, mm -hmm. and there's but no slavery in that. It's not. It's not slavery, dude. They're, they're wild animals. It's not slavery. It's no, from no, the point of view. They're not enslaved, those animals. They can run away. Mm -hmm. well, maybe they are mental slaves. No. Animals are mental they, slaves? They, can, they can't do what they want. Brother, like, I don't, know what, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what this has got to do with welfare guidelines and veganism. Like the, dif the difference between okay. how humane slavery and let's, let's leave it like that because uh, we have different points of view. I'm, no, I'm, I'm confused with your crop death analogy. It's completely confused me. It's, right. it's not analogous. It's not the same thing. That's your point of view. The, the accidental maybe, death. Maybe, uh, when that's I'm, like when saying I'm that not working the whole day, I can give it to you. But brother, that's just like saying like people die in car accidents. You know, mm -hmm. that's the same as slavery because their minds are controlled or something. No, they're accidental deaths. You know who else dies on plant farms? Human farmers. They're accidental. Are they enslaved? Yeah. Can we cut this show? <laughs> can, I, can I tell no, you? No, you talking? You come up and talk to me, bro. Yeah, I'm talking to you, but can we cut this show? No, no, no. otherwise you can walk away. Be because you are in, in a better position than me at this moment, and I don't want to talk with Brother, you like a Brother, don't come up and have a conversation with me, all right, uh, right? for half an hour, uh -huh. and then at the end, <laughs> Tell me to shut the camera no, off. I, no, I just told you that we have different points of view and I don't want to... Do you know what got rid of human slavery? Abolitionists. Yeah. Abolitionists. Yeah, not, not, there were humane slave owners as well, you, you for can. human beings. Yeah, yeah but first, first, yeah. The, first the slaves were uh, saved in few numbers. Because, uh, for example, the politicians were saved in the Abolitionists abolished slavery, not welfareists. So... But it's great discussion. <laughs> I like the I like the welfare debate. I've had a few of them, and uh, yeah, uh, nothing personal against you. No, it's just it's not, it's uh, I, don't, uh, I don't take anything personal. I'm not that small. No, you don't do anonymous for the voiceless, do you? Do you do anonymous for the voiceless? Not yet. Yeah. But I think I have, it's an abolitionist organisation. Shared it before they even started in Chile. It's an. I'm just letting you know it's an abolitionist organisation. So. Yeah, yeah. You, can. you can't promote you can. humane yeah. slavery with anonymous. So Maybe. You can. no, you can't. So you can do yeah, you could do it outside of AV, but not yeah. like in within like on outreach. Um, it, with AV, you'd yeah. have to do your welfare activism outside of AV. Like actually, I was looking for an for the voiceless before, and I think many vegans here before even they started doing things. And I uh, personally admire them, and I think it's a good movement. But I'm just not saying that uh, everything is 100% clear and this is the right solution and this is the wrong solution. I think that everything is development and we need to improve everything we can. That's just my position. Yeah, that's a good, that's a safe statement. But whatever is fine with you, that you Exactly. But I don't like when somebody is trying to prove me wrong every time because of these assumptions about something. Yeah. But these are not these are not these are not these I, I, I would say I'm 10% welfareist because I think that this has also its place in the society. <laughs> you're, you're either a welfareist or you're an abolitionist. I don't think you can be 10% of one and 20% of another. Because once you are 10% welfareist, you're, you're a welfareist. Maybe that's my point of view because I like pluralism and in, in, uh, also in the things which are concerning animal rights. But if you think it's the best thing, like I wouldn't just, I wouldn't, you know, just say that you, you believe in welfareism. Don't, I wouldn't like step... I, you know, outside it, of that. I, think it's worth a, a try. I don't personally, I see, but I see the, polarized, the society in Czech Republic is. And there's, yeah, there's a I few reasons why. Give it a go. There's a few right. reasons why I don't, and I, I think like I'm going to stand strong in that for now. Like, um, could be. Yeah. But it's also it's also always difficult to say something like that, and it's not like that because all the time you are dealing. We with get results with dif too. Different people, different cultures, and in Czech Republic the growth is. I won't say it's small, but it's, but it's working well, a bit. We've advocated but in I some pretty hard cultures, dude. That's just what I think. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 think, like, I think it's selling the animals short a bit. I think maybe you think like, this is the only way, welfareism, but I don't think so. I think we're having some pretty I, good I results. I never said it, I think. I just told you that I believe in pluralism. Yeah, I mean, like, 
But I, I think like you can get good results as an abolitionist, man. Could be. We do. Like yeah, I said, yeah, yeah like, you do. Sorry. No, I, I was like I'm to... saying, like Gary Yarovsky, one of the he was responsible for more conversions than any other I know, person. I on... know all that data, but I'm just talking about the present moment here in the Czech Republic, and I'm willing to try everything if it leads to results. Like nearly every viral activist has been an abolitionist. You know what I mean? Think of that. James Aspie, Erfling Ed, Gary Yarovsky, they're all abolitionists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yet to see a welfareist um, go have that higher conversion rate. I'm yet to see it. But when we do, mm. it'll probably be you. Yeah. <laughs> if you push it hard enough. I don't know, maybe, but, but I wouldn't I'm recommend sorry, it. To change, which is not so easy to change. You know, it would still be, no, there would still be slaughterhouses if everyone was a welfareist. And, and it's not even... Are we going to get it better? Like, you can't have... You can have <laughs> Let's go, bro. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for the chat. Yeah, I appreciate you're that. Welcome. See you next time you're here. Thanks okay. very much. <laughs> um, Might be a while since I'm, till I'm in I Prague again. Yeah, you, I'll see you on the internet going viral like Gary Yarovsky <laughs> saying free, buy free range eggs and go vegan. I'm more in the background. I, I, need, I don't need, I need to be an influencer. You need to be in the front round if you want to make um, some... Working you with know, influencers more than that's, just to be the influencer. That's good. I don't think I have a number. Right. Yeah, see, see you tomorrow. See you at the queue. Okay. Peace. See, see you, fella. Bye, see you guys. Everyone. See ya. I will. He's I just he's he just he's just stating stating theories. No, I don't think we've he got likes you, we. Yeah, I know it's fine. Like I don't I don't appreciate welfareism. I think it sells the animals short. When we can, we can get vegans. I know. I've I've had enough to talk about that topic. Eh? We got some good juice there. Veganism is not a diet, it's a moral principle which extends to diet. We had mixed responses out there on outreach. Like if everyone chose high welfare beef, there would the land use alone would destroy the earth. All in all, I think they were good conversations. Amazing. What exactly is the moral way to take someone's life from them if they want to live? What exactly is the moral way to treat someone as a product or a slave, as a resource? Uh, don't let them leave uh, with the idea that exploiting animals can be done in a humane way. This is a very big issue.